Compared to the glorious city of Carthage, Tunisia is experiencing a true rebirth. The adoption of a new constitution and the successful parliamentary and presidential elections in 2014 were hailed by the international community. A new coalition government was formed in early 2015, constituting hence a major historical event for the country, which is now an example of peace and democracy. With its optimistic and future-oriented vision, combined with a business culture aged over 3,000 years, Tunisia hosts about 53,000 foreigners of different nationalities who live in the country where they have easily adapted. Furthermore, new prospects and a promising future are offered to Tunisia's foreign investors, restoring their trust and confidence. Located in the heart of the Mediterranean, in the extreme north of Africa, and just two hours away from major European cities, Tunisia has always been considered as a platform of choice for international expansion thanks to a highly favorable business environment and an extremely pleasant lifestyle. Since the early 70s, thousands of international companies wishing to increase their competitiveness flock to Tunisia. Their assurances? Tunisian skills that are highly passionate about challenges and well endowed with recognized technical and scientific skills. We feel that this country, Tunisia, is the right place. We are very blessed. It has got all the natural resources. It is truly a Mediterranean country. Well, the climate, the briefing by the uh, minister is very positive. 70 hours turnaround time if you want to get approvals. That's very, very positive. Il y a un niveau d'éducation dans les universités, dans les écoles d'ingénieurs qui euh, est sans doute euh, sans égal euh, actuellement. La filiale tunisienne de Sofrecom a l'un des meilleurs taux de satisfaction client et c'est pour nous une, une vraie réussite. Tunisia Today, which experts readily refer to as the smart site of the Mediterranean, relies heavily on its historical assets to lure the most demanding investors. These assets have already attracted over 3,000 international firms and made Tunisia the first destination for the location of foreign firms south of the Mediterranean. Thanks to a varied and reliable infrastructure, Tunisia monitored in real time the developments recorded by the world industry. Today, the fields of textile and clothing, mechanics, electrics, aeronautics rank the country as the first southern Mediterranean industrial exporter to the European Union. From upscale clothing to the finest mechanical parts, companies operating in Tunisia respond just in time to orders from Europe or even from the US market. With its tradition in conventional industrial niches, Tunisia advances confidently towards the assimilation of new sectors that make human intelligence a growth engine. Offshoring and research and development are already attracting the most prestigious names in the sector that Tunisia seeks to consolidate and promote especially in the field of ICT to make it a pillar of its socio-economic development. Tunisia has long been committed to this branch by creating since the 90s the first dedicated technology park on the North African level. Other sectoral technology centers covering the whole territory allow Tunisia to assert the specific strength of the region and to position on the global value chains. Today, Tunisia is increasingly demanding and aims to become an international digital destination by 2018. C'est un pays qui est attractif euh, du, du point de vue des investissements et du point de vue de la qualité euh, de, de, de la main d'œuvre qu'on y rencontre. Euh, si, euh, quel que soit le niveau euh, des, des, des collaborateurs qu'on a ici en Tunisie, on a des gens qui sont bien formés euh, et qui sont euh, tout, à fait, euh, tout à fait efficaces. Il y a des mesures d'accompagnement pour euh, développer la formation, pour aider à l'investissement. Et tout ça, ça fait un ensemble de, de, de dispositifs qui sont tout à fait favorables à l'implantation de nouvelles entreprises ici en Tunisie. Nous avons eu un investissement qui a été fait dans le système de Tunis après avoir vu et avoir vu que nous avons eu un nouveau système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie dans le moment où nous avons eu un système de la Tunisie d
العوائد الاستثماريه اللي كانت يحققها اي مستثمر من الاستثمار في تونس عوائد جيده جدا جدا بنيه تحتيه عندها استعداد لقبول مستثمرين في مجالات مختلفه قوه عامله على مستوى جيد جدا من التعليم ومن الامكانيات الجيده التي ممكن توفر لاي مستثمر ارضيه صلبه يبدا استثماراته Thousand years ago, Tunisia, then Carthaginian trade port, served the whole Mediterranean basin. Today, Tunisian ports and airports serve the whole world and allow international firms to settle in Tunisia, remaining connected with clients wherever they are located. As for experience feedback, all those who have chosen this country will tell you that Tunisia offers not only immediate profitability but also sustainability. Tunisia is growing notably. Le nostre imprese sono molto soddisfatte. Investire in Tunisia vuol dire avere la possibilità di essere vicinissimi all'Europa e di lavorare sull'area del Nord Africa e del Vicino Oriente tramite la Tunisia su tutta l'Africa. Quindi è una base regionale estremamente importante e eh, vicina à tous les marchés à atteindre. J'encourage les industriels européens qui sont à la recherche de performance qualité mais aussi de coûts compétitifs de venir voir en Tunisie. Je suis convaincu qu'ils trouveront ici dans ce pays tout ce qu'ils cherchent. Und ähm, nehmen Sie Kontakt auf und beobachten Sie den Erfolg derjenigen, die schon hier sind, die ihre Success Story über Tunesien äh, schon geschrieben haben, die hier Arbeitsplätze geschafft haben, äh, geschaffen haben und die ähm, in Tunesien äh, ein gutes Geschäft machen und äh, einen wichtigen Beitrag äh, zur Wettbewerbsfähigkeit ihrer Unternehmen dadurch leisten, dass sie in diesem Land präsent sind. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided that the Nobel Peace Prize for 2015 is to be awarded to the Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet for its decisive contribution to the building of a pluralistic democracy in Tunisia in the wake of the Jasmine Revolution of 2011.